Hello and a warm welcome to all our wonderful viewers. I'm Jenny and I'm so excited to have you join us on our channel. First and foremost, I want to extend a heartfelt thank you for your continuous support and your encouragement. It means the world to us. Now, as many of you know, I'm the master trainer here at Sunshine Teachers Training, where we are committed to empowering parents and educators. Our goal is to make learning a joyful and enriching experience for both adults and children. Today we're going to explore yet another fascinating Montessori material, specifically the jigsaw puzzle of animals. We'll be focusing on the parts of a bird puzzle, a beautifully crafted material that's not just fun, but it's also incredibly beneficial for a child's development. In just a moment, I'll be sharing a clip from a recent workshop that I conducted for our online students. This will give you an inside look at how to use this material effectively. Whether you're an educator, a parent, or a Montessori enthusiast, you'll find valuable insights in this demonstration. But that's not all. After the video, I'll be back to share some fascinating information about this activity, its educational benefits, and how you can expand and stretch a child's learning beyond the material. So stay tuned and let's explore the wonders of Montessori together. Okay, Karim, today we're going to be learning about the parts of an animal. Have you seen these animals before? What is it? Bird. Right. Do you know the names of birds? This, Tenet, and there's anything else? Okay. And what do birds eat? Oh, seed. Okay, and they can eat some fruit and insects. Okay, now today we're going to learn about the body parts of this animal. Right? Can you tell me what this is? Do you know? Me? That's right. How about this? That? Mm -hmm. And this? Right? Okay, what do they use the eyes for? Right. And what do they use the wings for? A flying, yeah. And how about this? Do you know what it's called? What do, they, what do they use the beak for? Right. And these? Yeah, we call them the legs and the feet. Okay, for walking, right? And what is this? The tail. Do you know what they use the tail for? So the tail is very important because the birds who can fly, the tail helps them steer direction. Okay. And what about this? What is it called? The body. The body. That's right. Okay. Now I have this control card over here. Okay. And I'm going to match the body parts. Do you think you can continue? Yes. Shall I continue? Now we're going to replace it. I'm going to replace the tail. Can I ask you to replace the feet and the legs? Can I ask you to replace the body? Would you like to replace the wing? And finally, can you replace the head and the beak? Okay, so today we've worked with the parts of the body of a bird. And anytime you want to use this, you can take it and use it again. We also have some other animals, so if you'd like to learn about them, you can tell me and I'll teach you the names of their body parts. Would you like to have me tell But it's okay, just for a second, okay? So I just want to talk to you about this for a minute, okay? The first thing we do, for some reason, I don't know, students tend to make mistakes on this presentation. It's quite an easy one, okay? When we start, we just talk in general. Very casual. You know, in culture, there's a lot of conversation and discussion with the children to make it interesting. It's not stiff and formal, though when I do it, it may come across because I'm teaching, okay? 
you just talk about the animal. Do you know what this is? Have you seen it before? Tell me about it. You know, where did you see it? Whatever. Let's and we discuss the body parts together, and we tell the children what is the function. Okay. So do you know what this is? And the child says it's the wings. Okay. And what do they use the wings for? If they know, well and good. If they don't know, then you tell them. Okay. Do you know what this is? I don't know what it is. And we call this the tail. Can you say tail? Do you know what they use the tail for? I don't know. This is what they use the tail for. So we discuss it. Then we slide the puzzle across to reveal the control uh, card. And then the teacher says, let's match this. I'm going to start. She doesn't name any of the body parts. She just matches whatever she wants. Okay? And then she says, would you like to continue? And the child continues to match everything to the control card. Once everything has been matched, then she says, we're going to put it back. Now she's going to name the parts. I'm going to start by replacing the tail. Can you replace? Then she can call out any part she wants. Can you replace the body? Can you replace the head and the beak? Can you replace the wings? Can you replace the feet and the claws? Okay? And then we close it. Today we've learned about the parts of the body of the bird. We can learn about some animal. Yeah, we can use this one. Is that okay? Any questions? I think a lot of people feel that it's very easy and they don't practice it, and that's why they make mistakes. But we've got to get the steps correct. When we are going this way, we are not naming the body parts. When we are replacing it, that's when we name the body parts. Okay? Now, wasn't that presentation enlightening? We're going to go a little bit deeper into why the Montessori jigsaw puzzle of animals is such a remarkable tool for learning. You see, it's not just a puzzle. It's a journey into understanding and appreciating the intricate world of animals. Every piece the child picks up and places is a step towards greater understanding of how animals, as a part of our natural world, fit together both literally and figuratively. This puzzle isn't just a toy, it's a learning adventure. As children piece together the bird, they're not just learning about its shape and colors, they're also discovering the names and functions of its body parts. But the learning goes beyond just knowledge. Did you know that working with puzzles significantly enhances fine motor skills? This puzzle encourages the use of both hands, which is vital for children, especially those who are still developing their dexterity. Think about it. If a child struggles to hold a pencil, writing becomes a challenge. But by manipulating these puzzle pieces, they learn to coordinate their fingers and hands, laying a foundation for skills like writing and much more. Puzzles are like little mysteries waiting to be solved. Children learn to observe, focus, and use elimination strategies to figure out where each piece fits. This not only helps them in puzzle solving, but also in real-life situations where problem solving becomes essential. Visual perception is another key benefit. When children work on puzzles, they're processing shapes, images, and forms. This ability is crucial for learning to read and write, making puzzles a fantastic activity for early literacy and pre-writing skills. They learn to notice similarities and differences, which is visual discrimination. They begin to remember what they've seen, their visual memory, and they make sense of what they see, that's visual comprehension. And then they understand patterns, which comes to visual analysis and synthesis. And let's not forget the boost in self-confidence. Completing a puzzle gives children a sense of accomplishment and pride. It shows them that they can achieve goals and overcome challenges, which is invaluable for their self-esteem. Lastly, puzzles are a source of relaxation. For a child who might be hyperactive or stressed, working on a puzzle can be a calming activity, helping them to channel their energy or their frustrations in a constructive and enjoyable way. So you see, our Montessori jigsaw puzzle of animals is a tool that supports a child's overall development, from cognitive and physical to emotional and social skills. Every piece they place is a step 
towards becoming more skilled, confident, and mindful individuals. As we wrap up today's journey with the Montessori Jigsaw Puzzle of Animals, remember this is just a small glimpse into the rich and diverse world of Montessori education. At Sunshine Teachers Training, we are passionate about unlocking this world for you. Whether you're just starting out or looking to deepen your understanding, we have a range of courses tailored just for you. We offer long and short courses with options for diploma and non-diploma programs. Our aim is to accommodate everyone's learning needs. The beauty of our courses is that they are entirely online and self-paced. This means you can learn and grow from the comfort of your home at your own rhythm, fitting perfectly into your unique lifestyle. For more details about our offerings, I'll be putting a link right up here and feel free to click on it to explore more about our courses at Sunshine Teachers Training. Before we say goodbye, if you found this video helpful, please do give it a like and hit the subscribe button. Sharing this video with friends and colleagues would also mean the world to us. It helps to spread the joy and effectiveness of Montessori education far and wide. As always, I'm incredibly grateful for your time your engagement. Your support keeps our community growing and thriving. So until we meet again, have a beautiful day and continue to inspire and be inspired.